Hey y'all, it's your girl, the Brooke Ashley, and I know this is not how I usually start off a video, but we have to get right on into all this mess because I have so much to say. Let me just start off by saying that I'm in complete shock. I mean, I was up till about 4 a.m replaying that video over and over again. I was texting, I was DMing folks, like I was just rattled. I mean, never in the history of any award show have we ever seen anything like this. I thought the 2009 VMA awards were chaotic, but Will Smith said, oh no, we're gonna bring it to a different level. I think that Will Smith was wrong. I cannot justify this. I feel like if he had such an issue with what Chris Rock said, he should have pulled Chris Rock to the side backstage and they could have dealt with it then. But to get up on that stage and slap him like that on national TV? Are you insane? And for everybody who keeps saying he was offending his wife, let's back up a minute. Because when Chris Rock initially said, Jada, love you, G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see you in it. When the camera panned to Jada and Will, Jada rolled her eyes and Will Smith was laughing. So I don't know what took place in a 20 second span where Will decides to now come up and slap the sugar honey iced tea out of Chris Rock. Also, I had forgotten that Jada Pinkett Smith was suffering from alopecia. Jada has rocked so many hairstyles since she's been in the game. She's a beautiful woman. She looks amazing. So again, I forgot that she had suffered from a medical condition. I just assumed that she was doing this for style. And the way Chris Rock told the joke, you could tell that he didn't remember that Jada suffers from alopecia either. Now, what I will say is this. Jada and Will have every right to feel offended by the joke. That's understandable. However, there's a way to do things. I don't agree with you walking up on stage and slapping somebody. And Chris Rock did a fabulous job holding his composure because I spoke to quite a few men and they let me know that Will Smith would not have sat down and cursed them out. They would have jumped off that stage and the show would have been over. Okay, Chris Rock is better than a lot of people because I know quite a few people, they would have turned that show out. It would have been a fight. I also feel like what Will Smith did was quite cowardly. I feel like he only did that because he's taller and bigger than Chris Rock because I don't think that he would have pulled this if it was Jamie Foxx up there or Dave Chappelle. I think that they both would have gave him a run for his money had he tried it. And the utmost disrespect to open hand slap somebody. I originally thought that Will had punched him, but re-watching the video back, I was like, wait, he slapped him. I know there are a few articles going around about how there's this history with Chris Rock and the Smiths, but it's really nothing. Chris Rock told a few jokes at the 2016 Oscars when he was hosting about how Jada and Will were upset that he wasn't nominated for concussion. And the jokes were harmless. He made a joke about Jada boycotting the Oscars is like Rihanna boycotting him, something like that. Again, that's nothing for Will Smith or Jada to hold a grudge about. And I know there's been a lot of discussion about Will did this to show that he's not gonna be taken as a joke anymore and he wants people to stop joking on him about his marriage and the whole cheating and entanglement jokes and how Chris Rock got a lot of the wrath that he wanted to give to these other people. And at the same token, I feel like Jada and Will have done themselves a disservice by opening their mouths about their personal life in the first place. Had they kept quiet about their marriage, there would be no jokes to tell. And also, who are you to think that you're exempt from getting joked on? Chris Rock could have really taken it below the belt. He could have said a lot more, but he chose to be a class act and just present the upcoming nominees. But you could tell that he was stunned he couldn't believe what happened. 
I mean, when I tell you, I was just in shock. I kept saying, is this a joke? Somebody tell me that this is a prank because I refuse to believe it. And I can only imagine how Chris Rock felt because I felt like somebody slapped me too. I was glued in the same spot on my couch for the remainder of that show. I was scared to get up. I said, this doesn't make any sense. I'm afraid to get up in my own home. <laughs> I think it's a disgrace that now nobody's even talking about the show. Nobody's talking about the winners. Everybody is focused on this one incident. This has completely overshadowed the entire show. I was shocked at Will's speech. I wasn't moved by it whatsoever. I thought that that was a poor attempt to gain sympathy. Him acting as if this was a protect black women moment and acting like he's a defender and a protector and what really blew me was when he said, and I know that God is using me to be a vessel. And when he brought the devil into it, I said, now, I have never known the Smiths to be religious. And that's okay. I have no judgment on whatever you believe or choose not to believe. But I just found it interesting in this moment that of all times, now he's bringing God into it and the devil into it. I said, oh, okay. So that's what we're doing now. I know God was looking like, now I haven't heard from you in decades. <laughs> and somebody on Twitter had me screaming. They said the devil was looking like, now why am I in it? I was just sitting here watching the show too. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know where was security? Because had that been anybody else, they would have ushered them out so quickly. Like, I'm just really in shock that Will was able to sit down for the remainder of the show and watch what was going on. And I was reading the articles about how everybody in the theater was just stunned. Like, it was just a very weird vibe going forward. And again, while the joke could be seen in poor taste, he wasn't attacking her or making fun of her medical condition. He was referencing Demi Moore's shaved head because she was in the first G.I. Jane. That's all it was. And you hear Chris Rock saying, I was just joking, I was just saying about G.I. Jane, that's all I was saying. You can hear that he's just in complete shock that this has happened in the first place. There's an article in the New York Post that just came out earlier today. Could Will Smith lose his Oscar? explaining the Academy's code of conduct. Will Smith may be asked to hand back his best actor statuette following his live onstage assault of Chris Rock, industry insiders told The Post. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, which handed out awards Sunday at the Dolby Theater in LA, has strict guidelines in its code of conduct. One highly placed Hollywood source told The Post after the incident, it's basically assault. Everyone was just so shocked in the room. It was so uncomfortable. I think Will would not want to give his Oscar back, but who knows what will happen now, the insider said. Meanwhile, the Academy cryptically announced from its official Twitter account, the Academy does not condone violence of any form. Tonight, we are delighted to celebrate our 94th Academy Award winners who deserve this moment of recognition from their peers and movie lovers around the world. I just read a brief snippet of the article I have the link below if you want to read the entire article. But basically, there could be a chance that Will does lose his Oscar. I have conflicted feelings about if he did lose his Oscar because of this incident. I saw the movie King Richard. He did a phenomenal job. So while the Oscar is well-deserved, this incident just has me torn because it just isn't right. You don't do that. And this could have been handled privately. Had he just pulled Chris Rock backstage and said, yo man, that wasn't cool. Jada's dealing with alopecia. Like, don't talk about her like that. You know, don't say that. Please be mindful. No problem. Had they had a blowout argument backstage, I could respect that too. But to go on national TV and to embarrass this man the way you did and to slap him that is the ultimate sign of disrespect. And again, in my opinion, nothing so terrible was said. It was 
a joke that was done in poor taste. I'm sure that Chris Rock had no idea about Jada having alopecia. I want to believe that had he known, he would not have made the joke. Y'all, I don't want to belabor the point. I just had to hop on here and give my two cents and let you guys know how I felt about this whole thing. I'm waiting with bated breath to see what you guys think about this whole incident. Are you on Will's side? Are you conflicted? Do you think that Will should lose his Oscar? What would you have done if you were Chris Rock? Would you have hit him back? Like, I want to know all of it. We should be talking and celebrating the winners, but here we are talking about this. I'm also curious to see what Chris Rock and Will Smith say in the coming days. <sighs> crazy. Just absolute craziness. But y'all, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy. And as always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Bye.